Okay, I'm going to go in and um, use the PMI advisor on this part and, uh, and show you how it can be used to validate the PMI that was uh, created. Um, I'll start by going in and um, bringing up the uh, advisor configuration dialog. This is the main dialog in terms of managing the types of rules that get applied during the uh, advisor mode. So for instance, there is a checking mode for advise that uh, displays a number of alerts during creation and edit of PMI when it finds an error. Uh, there's also an enforce mode that gives us not only the alerts, but it also prevents you from creating the PMI on create and edit. So I can uh, select the type of checking mode that I want, as well as the style of information that's displayed to me. I can choose the active standard out of the box in 1953 will be ISO and, uh, and ASME. And then I can pick the types of objects and the, the various rules associated with those objects. So for instance, the datum feature symbol, I can identify the various rules that exist for the datum feature symbol, uh, linear dimensions, radial, uh, feature control frames, if I identify straightness, you can see that there are a number of rules associated with this. Uh, the rule itself will provide a description as well as the information that will appear in the alert itself to the user. You can choose to apply the rule or not, so you have the flexibility to turn a rule on or off, as well as the failure level. So for instance, I can set it to, to error, uh, which um, gives me a, a very um, um, an error-based uh, message, or else a warning, which is just um, categorizing it um, in terms of the, the severity to the user. When I'm done, I simply click on OK. And now, as I'm working, whether I'm creating or editing PMI, uh, I see the changes immediately. I see the advisor warnings immediately. So for instance, let's go in here and uh, and create something. Let's uh, let's create a, um, uh, a datum a uh, datum I, and you see right away an alert pops up saying that the datum's later sequence uh, contains an invalid character. So in this case, it's a warning, uh, so it doesn't prevent me from creating it, but certainly I can go in there and I can start to uh, to create that datum. Uh, so if I had set it to enforce, it would actually prevent me from creating that datum. Um, if I wanted to go in there and check to see the uh, the existing status of current PMI that's on the model, I could hit the advise button on here and uh, and run the checks. When I run the checks, it's going to go out and look for information about uh, the PMI that exists on the model. So this datum A is is passed its uh, check, uh, but these are all showing warnings. It's showing that the material modifier can only be applied to a feature of size uh, datum reference. And then, of course, this one is also, we recognize that, that the letters are, are not allowed. So I can go in there and, and correct that very easily just by double-clicking on that, uh, that PMI. I can go and take something that's valid, say B, rerun the check, and we can see that it will also pass. Now, to correct these other ones with warning, uh, what I can do is just remove the material modifier. Now, if I had to do that for every single one, you can imagine that could take some time. So what I can do here is just go into the, um, the rules themselves, and I can just change the uh, material modifier on the uh, primary datum. So I'll just go in, and I'll pick the menu, and I'll set it to none. And when I do that, it will remove the material modifier, and, um, and then I can check to see if it's valid. OK. So now I'll go in and rerun the check. And when I do that, we can see it's all valid.